many events today on Veterans Day around the country and right here in Iowa had to be canceled because of the pandemic. Unfortunately, while some are celebrating virtually, others, though, found ways to honor our veterans in person today. And with that in mind, let's go to KWW reporter Diego Hernandez. He attended one of those great events this morning in Waverly and heard some amazing stories. Celebrating those who have served. For what's going on in the world right now, I was, I was happy with the crowd we had. Veterans and supporters coming together, socially distanced in Waverly, having a smaller event than the usual Veterans Day celebration. We wanted to be respectful of the day and not just bypass it. So uh, for the folks that showed up here today, we thank them immensely. For the folks that couldn't, we understand. And uh, we'll, we'll do better next year, I'm sure. After prayer, inspirational speeches, and a video presentation, those attending got together for lunch, where many shared stories about their experiences fighting for our country. I was in for three years and one month. Some were drafted, of course, but many of them made the choice to go and serve this nation. And um, I'm glad I made that choice. Well, I started out in California, went to Vietnam, Come back to California. Well, I tell you, it's still like the film here today still brings tears to your eyes. Different things, I mean, being said. Waverly Mayor Adam Hoffman came to celebrate as well, as he too has connection to those who protect this country. You know, I've got a veteran in my family, my father, and so his story is significant in my life. Uh, I got a nephew that's going to be coming up through the ranks into, into the Navy, and so he'll have those stories as well. Um, they all have a great deal of passion behind their tenure of service to our country and to, to our residents and it's a phenomenal thing. A phenomenal thing for the veterans who not only fought for our country but also for their loved ones and the generations to come. Diego Hernandez, News 7 KWWL. Diego, thanks very much. By the way, in Waverly tomorrow, veterans will continue to be honored at a drive-by event at the Waverly Show Rock middle school by the way the Waverly Shell Rock middle school students they'll be out in the parking lot tomorrow morning from 825 to 835 so all veterans are encouraged to drive by and be a part of the veterans parade